another gorgeous day here in Valencia, Spain. And in today's video, I'll try to show you what I like so much about this city, which is so underrated, and what made me move from California to Spain. Goodbye. But before I do this, let me give you a little bit of a background on myself. I lived and worked in Los Angeles for 20 years. I explored, I learned, I had my struggles and I succeeded. I met some of the most talented people who became my friends. I created jewelry for A-list celebrities and I really experienced some of these so-called American dream. Everyone talks about Barcelona and Madrid, but the third largest city in Spain, Valencia, is slowly getting a lot of attention. There are many reasons which make this place so attractive, and I don't think I can capture all of them in just one video. I am at Turia Gardens, a dry riverbed converted into a magnificent park. This park right now is the most desired and really actively used park, which runs for nine kilometers, probably the largest park in the world, or at least in Europe. No gym membership, no anything. You just get out and run. This is where I take a workout break. Really, the activities here don't stop and they call it the lungs of the city because there is not a single car here to pollute the air and everybody's just exploring this uh, green, uh, green monster every single day. And right now we're in the middle of November at 20 degrees, which is about um, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the flower bridge. Actually, I heard that the Valencians uh, are pretty upset about it because it's one of the most expensive bridges to maintain. They do take care of the flowers every, every season, every day, every week, I don't know. Right now they're a little dry because of um, the fall, but nonetheless still beautiful and colorful as you can see. It's the alien forest with the strangest trees. They have such weird shapes. Aren't they weird? I love everything about this calm lifestyle. And by calm, I don't mean necessarily quiet because the Spaniards are pretty loud. very easy system with the Valencia where you can rent a bike and drop it off at the stations throughout the city. So you basically you scan your car and you pick any bike you want and you can just go around the city. Do you have a date, like a deadline or when you need the ring by? Pretty straightforward uh, design, so I would say two weeks. Do you know your finger size? Okay, six all the way around. So an eternity band. When I'm designing it on the computer, before I even start the whole process, I can show you a couple options, couple renderings that you can see on the computer before we even start. We can achieve what you, what you really want. Yes, a great start. Have a great day. I just wanted to show some of the amazing doors in Spain. 
This is right next to the ceramic museum. It's a pretty spectacular building, very ornate. And now off to my favorite coffee place, uh, Cafe Federal, where I can hopefully edit some of my uh, some of my video and work a little bit on some new designs. And let's see what happens. It was sunny in the morning, and now it became a rainy day, but nonetheless a beautiful one, very moody. Finally here, Cafe Federal. Coffee maybe sweets. As a jewelry designer, I'm really fortunate that I can work from anywhere in the world. And truly in Spain, I feel very inspired. Valencia two years ago, I was so shocked to see the red marble on the street surrounding the whole center where they have their administrative buildings. This magnificent structure was built in the 14th century. Those doors protected the Valencian city from all kinds of invaders. Okay, we're finally up at the Torres de Serrans. And we have this amazing view behind us. Even though we cannot go all the way up to the tower, it's still breathtaking. I love it here. It's a super vibrant, very underrated city, but it is gaining momentum. It's gaining a lot of popularity now. And Valencia was actually listed at the International Expats Survey as the number one city for expats. I love how you can be at the Gothic church and have this heavy architecture where you can feel the weight of time. And in 10 minutes, you can walk into the arts and sciences complex where everything is super futuristic, very modern. And this contrast, it creates a inspiring environment for me. Walking through the city, you will find a plaza, some medieval building, or a sophisticated new classical facade. This is one of Europe's best preserved historic centers, and it can take you many days to explore it all. There is an exciting architectural mix of Gothic, Art Deco, modernist styles, and wherever you look, you will get immersed in a highly stimulating environment. The North train station is another hidden gem of the city. It has high-speed trains going to almost all cities in Spain. The city's architecture, it's incredible, and I can find myself walking through uh, the streets of Rusafa with their little uh, vintage shops, going through the dark streets of El Carmen with their, their incredible graffitis, and then getting into the very, very modern uh, city of arts and sciences. I can't help but deeply admire this architectural wonder designed by the Valencian architect Santiago Calatrava. This put Valencia as the world design capital for 2022. This 
this is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I'll be coming with more content these following weeks. Please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, hasta luego.